Today's video, I am going to be demonstrating the use of a powerful AI tool inside Power Code. If you may remember, in my last video, I demonstrated some powerful AI features within Microsoft Excel. On the similar lines, I am going to take a look at some powerful AI features inside Power Query as well. Power Query is a very powerful utility given by Microsoft and it comes along with Power BI as well as Microsoft Excel and it really helps to accelerate your data cleaning and data aggregation activities. For today's video, I am going to be demonstrating how we can use AI to accelerate and boost your productivity even further. This video is not a demonstration of Power Query. If you want me to make some videos on the same, leave a comment below. This video is about using AI features within Power Query. So let's take a look. I've opened my Power BI desktop and I've loaded the same employee sample dataset.csv file which I've used in my previous Excel series as well as in my Panda series. So that we are consistent in following the same dataset across all our tutorials that we do. I've opened this file using the Get Data button here and I've loaded the CSV file. I'm going to click on Transform Data since I want to transform the data. It's a comma separated file and it has already separated the data into different columns. I'll say transform data. Okay. Now it will load the data into the Power Query editor. Yes, as we can see, it has now loaded the data inside the Power Query editor. And we, let us try to achieve the same things as we did in the previous series. For example, I want to split or I want to extract the first name only from the full name. I see that full name is not important for me. I want to extract only the first name. So instead of, of writing a formula or a power query expression, I just click on this and I say add column and I click from selection. And similar as we did in Excel, we are going to give it some examples and let Power Query AI features figure out the pattern. It's a very powerful feature. And you can see I just type the first name and it will auto automatically figure out that I want the first name from the name that's also given me the formula. I examine the, uh, the expression, I see it is fine. I click on OK. So you can see how easy it is and similar to the feature of formula by example that I demonstrated in Excel in my previous video. If you want to take a look at that video, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go to that as well. So let me rename this as first, first name. All right. And now I can remove the full name column. I don't need this. And I'll remove the first name. I need space. Right. Let's drag it here. And move. And move it here. All right. Let's take it before the job title. All right. So we have got that done. Now let's take a look at something more interesting. Now the higher date is in the format MMDD YY. I purposely changed the locale of my machine and I have changed the date format to DDMM. So this is stored in text format. If I directly change this to date format, you can see it will give me an error because my current region and locale is set to the GDMM YY format. And this happens because the date format, depending on your region and locale, will be different for different locations, right? So this is a very important point that you should always format the date as per your locale set in your own computer. So in this case, for it to work properly, say I want the format in GDMM YY file because it's not a valid date format. So what I, I, I have to write some formula and expressions to do that and it will take some time and it's a tedious task. I can easily do that in Power Query because I know the result that I'm expecting. So I'll say again. So let me undo this change first. I click, I, you can undo any change inside Power Query by just clicking on the X for the previous step that you have done or whichever step you want to remove. Okay, so the higher date, again I do from selection and as simple as I'll give it some examples. And the more examples you give, Power Query gets more and more better, the AI features. And it will also give you the expression on top and keep on evolving the expressions as per the pattern that it finds. So you, you can try it, experiment with it and see how innovative the AI features within it is. But I'm not able to detect the pattern yet. So I'll give it one more example. And it will update. The more better examples I give, the better it will keep on Analyzing the AI will analyze and update the expression accordingly. You can see this given me the, in the format of VDM and YY that I wanted. Now, 
if I just change, I just change this to, if I just uh, change this type to date, okay, I say OK. And now if I just change the type to date, you see, it has taken it as a valid date because now it has converted it into a valid date format. So simple using the AI feature within Power Query would have, which would have otherwise caused me a headache or for people who are not familiar with expressions and how, how to write different formulas inside Power Query would have taken some more time. Now I just need to delete this, remove and I rename this to higher date. I just shift this call up for annual salary. Yes. Now let's take a look at something a little bit more trickier. Say exit date. I need to do the same thing for exit date and convert it into DDMF YYY format. But in this case, there are some blank values as well. So let's see how to handle this situation. I select the date. I click on from selection. Okay. As I mentioned, Power Query will get better as we keep on giving it better patterns and we'll keep on updating the formula as we give it more intuitive patterns. So I'll say the format I want the DDMM YY 16 10 slash 2021 and directly go to the next date. It does not figure out the pattern yet. So I'll do 20 slash 5 slash 2021. Okay. And still it has given some error here. So I need to give it one more pattern. Example for it to figure out, let's say 9 slash 3 slash, and it's constantly updating the formula as we can see, slash 2020. And you can see it has left the other columns as blank and it has figured out the pattern now, and only the places where the date is there, it has updated the date in DDMM by by format. So it's a very, very cool and intuitive feature. It has updated the formula as well, right? As along, it has learned from the patterns. I click on OK. Okay, so you can see how powerful this is for all the conditions which I would have to write manually. It has done for me in a very intuitive manner and has given me the expressions as well. So it is renaming this now. Yeah, it is uh, creating this column. I can just delete this and I can rename this to exit date. Exit date. Okay, and I just change the type to date type and see if it's a valid date type. Now the beautiful thing, it has converted both these columns into valid date type. It has given me a null value for the dates that are not there. And I can do good, some nice data operations on, on these two dates as well, which I could not do earlier because they were different. They were text formats. So now I can do data operations. I just say I want to find the tenure for how long the employees were working with me. So the exit date minus the you know higher date for the employees that have left. You can subtract this. And for the employees that have left, I can see now the number of years that they have worked with me. I can say 10 years. So I know the employees are left, how many days they have worked with me. And in my exercises, I've done this through formulas as well. But you can see how easy it is and how easy without having to write these expression and formulas, it has already given it for me. So that's about it in this video. If you want me to make some videos on Power Query and some features of it, do leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And do let me know any other videos you would want me to make in the series. And I'll leave a link to my other videos in the series to follow. Thank you.